Hi friends, Mrs. St. Laurent here. I'm coming to you with another math game. This is geared for students probably more like fifth grade and higher. <clears throat> this is like the traditional game of war where you're playing against an opponent and you each flip a card. Whoever has the higher card wins those cards, adds it to their deck, and you keep playing until one person has all the cards. Uh, we're going to do a similar thing, but we're going to do it with fractions today. It's important to note that <clears throat> jacks would be worth 11, queens would be worth 12, kings would be worth 13, and aces would be worth 1. So the way the game will work is, let me just slide this a little bit so you'll be able to see. I'm going to split the deck in half, and I'm doing this by myself because this is a little too hard for my kids. So this will be my opponent, and this is me. So I'm going to flip my cards. I have a 9 and a queen. So this is 9 twelfths. Oops. Let me slide this so that you can see it just a little bit more. There we go. So 9 twelfths. <clears throat> and they flip a 10 and a 7. Now I would probably make these not improper fractions. So when you flip the two cards over, the smaller number goes on top. So this is 7 tenths. <clears throat> and this is 9 twelfths. Now, you may or may not know the decimal equivalent, so it might be helpful to have a calculator on your phone or a calculator handy to double check. I do know the decimal equivalent. 7 tenths is the same as 0 0.70 or 0 and 70 hundredths or 0 and 7 tenths. 9 twelfths is equivalent to the fraction 3 fourths, and I happen to know that that is 0 and 75 hundredths or 0 0.75. So in this case, this is larger than this one, so I would get those. Now let's say they happen to be equal. We would have to flip over another pair of fractions and see who wins all the cards. So let's see. We have a 12 and an 8. On this side we have a 1 and a 9. And we probably don't have to think too long about this one. 1 ninth is going to be smaller than 8 twelfths. Try one more. Oh, geez. A 12 and a 3. And an 8 and a 7. Okay. So 3 twelfths I know is a, an equivalent fraction if I divided them both by 3. 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 12 four times. So this fraction is equivalent to 1 fourth. Not very large. This fraction, 7 eighths, I know is really close to a whole. It's just one little sliver away. So 7 eighths is greater than 3 twelfths. And you would keep going like this until <clears throat> one of the opponents runs out of cards. So remember, if they should be a tie, you should both flip a second fraction. Whichever one's larger there, they take all those cards. So good luck with your fraction war.